All right, now we're going to go with our pitcher's fielding practice. And it's nothing worse than having a pitcher that can't field their position because it will cost you dearly. So it's, it's amazing how sometimes you see pitchers that can throw underhand 65 miles an hour but can't throw the ball overhand. So we try to make sure that our pitchers are also infielders because they are. They're your fifth infielder. And so we have a pitcher fielding practice, and we're going to share that with you right now. But we'll start off with balls right at them. Yeah, Nance. Okay, you got lots of time here, so they're going to set and throw. opportunity for them to Not rush the throw. Practice playing defense, making sure they're good mechanics. They're getting low to the ground, hands out in front, working on their overhand throw. Footwork is really important here. Coach spends a lot of time working with uh, our infielders. He calls them. He says pitchers are the fifth infielder, oh, which, if you think about it, is really true. And how many times have you, you know, had a pitcher? feel the ground ball in a crucial situation and throw it away. And that can cause and start a huge inning for you. So we take a lot of pride in our pitchers. Well, those are usually defense. pretty easy ones. Then I'm going to make them try to pick the hop. So I'm going to try to hit it a little bit lighter. So she's going to either charge the short hop or get the long hop. Most of the time in a game, a pitcher really is not going to have a choice. The ball is going to be right at them, but this gives us a chance to get them to understand the principles of fielding. Again, we pick the hop, so we have to get a short hop or a long Stick. hop. Here we go, Michelle, right here, bud. There you go. Stay low. That's it, Taylor. Get rid of it. High hops. So we try to just mix things up with whatever they may get in the game. Yeah, Thule. This is a good time for the pitchers to kind of feel like, hey, we're we're just like everybody we else. We're one here. of the infielders. We're one of the defensive players. Yeah. Um, not isolated. Easy on the easy on the sound effects, but I think so, I think she did something to her pants there. I don't know. We make sure that. They're constantly talking about defense when they're on the mound. It's not just about the pitch that I'm going to throw. It's about the defensive situation. Um, what am I going to do if the ball comes to me? Uh, making sure that you're checking in with your defense all the time, not on an island out there by yourself. All right, we're going to bounce here. Yeah, a lot of this is time, understanding how much time you have. So um, often I'll put a stopwatch. The minute I touch the ball and the minute the ball gets to first base and give them an idea whether they're throwing out a runner, that's an average runner, maybe three plus. And then what you have to do to throw out a runner that's a 2'6 or 2'7, like a Natasha Wiley, Caitlin Lowe, you know, some of the best that have played the game with This speed. is a time for the catchers to be doing some talking as well, too. Most of your slappers at this level that are effective are usually 2.8 and below. So it's kind of good sometimes to get your infielders to get accustomed to what it's like to be able to make a play with someone that's got speed and, and make a play when they have a lot of time. 